Worried about converting to online learning and wanting to record your lessons? Well, here's one simple way to do it. Hi, my name is Evan and welcome back to the workshop. If you're like me, you've started worrying about making your lessons available online. You've probably started checking out some online resources like Zoom or Google Hangouts, or Google Classroom. But if you're a teacher, you already have one thing installed that you can use to record all of your lessons. That program is PowerPoint and we're going to use one simple feature to record everything. The first thing you're going to need to do is to prepare a PowerPoint with your lesson material already laid out in each slide. I have one just here showing one slide from an animation workshop. The first thing you need to do is add one blank slide to the beginning of your presentation. That slide is going to be where our video ends up going. Then you need to click insert, then screen recording and make sure your microphone is turned on. then select the whole screen. Then you're gonna bring up your whole presentation ready to be annotated or discussed. As well as talking about what they're looking at, you can also click review and start inking. So that you can now draw on the screen with your finger or a stylus. Once you've finished scrolling through your presentation, take your mouse to the top of the screen and the recording menu will pop down. Click stop and you'll find that the screen recording is now inserted into that blank slide you made at the beginning. You can now click on it and select save media as and save it to a convenient location to upload wherever you need it to go. A little tip is to talk like you have a classroom of students directly in front of you. Since your students will probably be on their own watching your video, so instead of saying, when you've completed step one, maybe say, when you've all completed step one. This might help them feel a bit more socially connected. If you're looking for a way to show a video of yourself or your hands while you're chatting through the video, then you'll need to install something that can play a webcam stream. I'll be showing how to use VLC, and the link is down in the description, but you can use whatever you like. The steps are essentially the same as before, except now you must load VLC, select media, and then open capture device. Select your webcam from the list and choose no audio device, since PowerPoint will capture our audio for us. There's usually an annoying lag in the webcam preview. So to mostly fix this, you'll need to select show more options and make sure the caching is set to zero. Then click play and resize your windows so that you can see your presentation as well as your webcam videos. This is all done before you click insert screen recording. If you have two webcams so that you like to show something you're drawing or building and then connect your second webcam and follow the same process as before. Something you'll need however is a nice top down view of your tabletop and to do that you can use a little tripod, a bigger tripod or what I prefer is a clamp with the right type of attachment to sit underneath most cameras. I'm just going to clamp my one to the side of my table. You've now got your face, your screen, and your hands ready to show your students anything you need to teach them, all being recorded by PowerPoint. Again, once finished, put your mouse at the top of the screen, click stop, and then right click and save media as. Have fun, look after yourself and your family, and please leave some toilet paper in the shops for me. I'll see you next time with another video in the workshop. Let's get making.